Welcome to another exciting episode of Cars with Big Boy Trev. Today we are at the new home of Suzuki, courtesy of Toyota. They have an amazing lineup, including this beautiful baby, the Suzuki Jimny. But first things first, let's check out the news. At Toyota Kenya, we are committed to providing vehicles, as we all know, that are top quality, durable, reliable, and now affordable. And for this reason, ladies and gents, we today would like to announce the launch of Suzuki by Toyota Kenya, a partnership that will see Suzuki models being sold under Toyota Kenya distributorship, offering a choice of quality at absolutely affordable prices. And it actually goes as low as starting from 800,000 shillings up to the top of the range Vitara, which is going to go for 3.8 million, being the high end of the model. So definitely very, very affordable. The government of Kenya recently proposed a reduction in the age limit of second-hand vehicles being imported into the country from eight years to five years starting July this year. So with the introduction of Suzuki and the prizes which are currently being offered, this is an opportunity for every Kenyan to own a brand new showroom vehicle. We have partnered with major banks and today especially NIC and we've got Alan Dodd here from NIC. As NIC Bank, we're very proud to be associated with, uh, with Toyota Kenya Suzuki. The terms, as mentioned, is 90% uh, finance with uh, um, a repayment period of 60 months, five years. And we also include in that all the other extras like uh, tracking devices we finance. So we think it's a very attractive proposition. Um, so what makes us a little bit special, different from our, some of our competitors is our turnaround time. Um, we try and uh, circulate, approve the application within 24 hours of receipt. The, good, the key thing with Suzuki is cost of production, they've kept it low but quality high. So do we urge people to come and visit this showroom and get the best deals on wheels because now NIC is giving you up to 90% of financing. Yeah, that's unbelievable. I mean 90% makes it very affordable and at your comfort level. So you know that you can just plan yourself and own one of these good cars. That's it for the news guys, right now we have an amazing model preview, the brand new Suzuki Vitara, check it out. So guys we are in the cabin of this new Vitara, 30 years of dominance in the market being the first true crossover in Kenya. Now, as you can see here, the dash has been redesigned to attract the younger generations. The kids who used to be in the Vitara first generation and second generation are now owners of this particular car. So it's, it's got a modern, chic, funky design. As you can look on the dashboard over here, there's some carbon fiber trim or metallic trim. Just to give it that accent that it looks, you know, very modern, very stylish. At the center, over here on top of the center console, you do have a clock, which uh, gives it that premium look. And of course, you have circular air vents. Right here in the middle, you do have an audio system. Now, this audio system, um, it's, it's a basic one, but you know it has a CD. You can put on your CDs or MP3s, radio, and then you can also pair your Bluetooth and USB, which is very important in this day and era. And right below it, you do have climate control. Of course, it's important to have this in any car in Kenya because of the heat. Guys, you know how January, February is very hot. So you can imagine having a cool cabin while driving this Vitara on long distances between you and your friends as you go to Whatever, Sagana, Meru, or Nakuru for your rugby, this particular car is a car for you. 
over here at the center console and and the driver instrument being a call the italics are clear and precise so that you can see all the vital information without any stress and of course you do have a, a driver information display it can tell you when the door is open or closed fuel range etc so it gives you a lot of information the steering as well you do have buttons for cruise control this car has cruise control imagine that i'd never imagine the first and second generation which are having cruise control you do have uh, connectivity for your phone you can connect your phone without taking your hands off remember cops are very bad when you pick up your phone and you're driving it's a security risk and it's a danger to you and your family so kudos to suzuki for putting that here and of course you have your volume control so you can literally control your source so it's mp3 or bluetooth whatever you can control it without taking your hands off the steering wheel now this particular vitara sits five people comfortably big boy is comfortable in this seat the, the driver seat i have plenty of headroom and leg room as well so i feel quite, quite comfortable and then you can adjust the steering wheel up and down it's not telescopic but it works this one is just good for uh, your everyday driving then again you do have park sensors remember uh, parking is a big issue especially with our ladies so you do have park sensors that allows you to park comfortably without grazing or hitting any car that's on the side that said we move to the back at the back the seats are very uh, comfortable as well Two people will fit very comfortably, but this person who's in the middle will struggle just a little bit, but it will be able to carry three people comfortably without stress. It has three-point seat belts at the back, so you're safe. And of course, here at the front, you have your standard seat belt, which is very important. Remember, seat belt is the primary safety equipment in any car. So guys, at the back here, you can see the spacious roomy luggage. It's not well, very spacious, but it's just adequate to carry two suitcases without any ease. As you can see here, we have our luggage and our film equipment over here. And something interesting, you do have an underneath floor parcel where you can actually store some of your luggage. So it's very practical. And obviously underneath again, you do have a space saver, as you can see. So it is quite practical as you can tell. And you do have some tie down hooks over here and over here. And then you do also have a 12 volt socket to power your tire pressure uh, pump or fridge if you like to do outdoors. It's something that uh, Suzuki has really done well. Of course, you can also ensure that your seats lie down so that you have extra room. 60 40 split on the rear seat. Welcome to Cars with Big Boy Trev used car segment and today we are talking to you. Are you looking for a soft roader, a premium one that has class, style and got charisma? Ladies and gentlemen, today on Cars with Big Boy Trev, I introduce to you the Audi Q5 straight from Ingolstadt, Germany. I want to find out if it makes sense to you. We're going to talk about cost, maintenance and so much more. So first things first, let's check in and see what it's made of. So step right in the interior of this Audi Q5 and you can feel the premiumness oozing out of this vehicle. Audi never goes wrong with design and that's a strong point. So you can see it is cleverly designed to ensure that it gives that feeling of being encompassed in a cabin that is luxurious, that is very, very German and unique. The center console is the highlight of this dashboard and you have the multimedia information display. That's a propriety uh, screen courtesy of Audi that houses the climate control, maps and of course, an audio system from Bang & Offelsen, it is crazy, it's got deadly, deadly sound. Um, climate control works as well, it, it's two zone, it's dual zone, so the passenger can actually control the temperature by themselves and even the driver. If I feel like I want 19 degrees and the passenger wants 21, no problem. The Audi uh, climate control is able to work that out and of course it has rear air vents. Now, even as you look at the gear shift console, it's laden with so many buttons. It looks like an F-16 cockpit pilot. I've never flown one, but I've seen the picture, so yeah understand the analogy then again you have settings for the navigation radio media and the telephone you can actually connect your phone using bluetooth the instrument being a call where the driver is is driver focused very clear and precise italics on the speedometer and tachometer so you can actually see and then at night it, it, it lights up with a light blue hue 
you know, it's, it's cool to the eye. It doesn't, you know, distract you from the road. So you're able to uh, drive and see all the information from temperature control, from distance covered to mileage. You can do all sorts of things uh, while you're driving the Audi. Of course, you, also, you have also satellite buttons where you can control the different functions of the multimedia display. It sits five people, actually, guys, very comfortably. You can see Big Boy is uh, very comfortable. The seats are very adjustable. Plenty of lumbar support, so Big Boy feels like he's driving a, a limo, like an A8, you know. Um, the passengers also have uh, power settings on the, on, the, on the front passengers. And at the back, you can actually sit three people comfortably. There's plenty of headroom even at the front and at the back and legroom. So on long drives, this is the car for you. When you want to go your road trips to Mombasa, Kisumu, Nyeri, you name it, the Audi Q5 is a vehicle for you. Let's step at the back and see how much luggage it can carry. Right here at the boot space, it's big, it's plenty. I can fit inside, but I don't want to try. So you can carry two large suitcases as well. You can put your farm produce, your groceries all in inside here. But if they don't fit, you can actually, you know, make the rear seats fold down so that you have extra space to carry more luggage. If you have a fridge, you can actually pour it over here with a 12 volt socket as well, or a car compressor to, you know, inflate your tire in case you go bundles and uh, you have a flat. That said, we need to find out how this car performs on the road. We're going to drive it, feel the power, feel the quattro, and then give you a value for money analysis about the Audi Q5. Join me as I take you to the run. Welcome back. I hope you're pumped up for the next segment, maintenance. But first things first, did you know that this particular Suzuki Jimny is one of the toughest 4x4s in the world? We'll show you later on. Let's check out what you need to do about your car. Why minor service is important to your car? Minor servicing of your vehicle is a critical aspect of maintenance for your car. It involves replacing engine oil, air and oil filters, plus a mechanical inspection of key components such as braking, fuel and cooling systems. Some people simply avoid minor services, but that doesn't help your vehicle in the long run. You really need to book an appointment with your local dealer who will ensure that you do your service between 5,000 and 8,000 kilometers. Now let's take a look at what minor service involves. Number one, your engine oil is drained and replaced with new clean oil so that your car runs more efficiently. The oil filter is also replaced so that your engine runs more smoothly. Number two, all the fluids are flushed and changed. This includes the clutch, transmission, power steering, brake and coolant fluids. Number three, your battery is tested to make sure that it holds enough charge and is unlikely to be replaced before the next service. Number four, your car is given a full safety inspection to pick up anything that needs replacing either now or in the near future. Number five, a drive test is performed to ensure that nothing has been missed out that could endanger you and your family or anyone else on the road. Number six, all the remaining filters, air, fuel and pollen are inspected to make sure they don't need to be replaced. Number seven, gearbox oil and transfer case and diff levels are checked as well. Number eight, your wiper blades are inspected to ensure that they do not need to be replaced before the rainy season. In general, minor car services cover a lot of territory and helps to make sure that your car is always safe. It also helps to prevent unexpected problems occurring out of the blue, which would cost you an arm and a leg if you simply ignore it for too long. A lot of times, vehicle dealerships will have special offers on parts and services, especially during the festive seasons like Christmas, Easter, and many other holidays. Use this opportunity to visit authorized dealers who will check the health of your vehicle for free, plus identify some issues that were previously ignored. Driving the Audi Q5 is a pleasurable experience. It's quiet, it's refined, it's comfortable. Now this particular unit that I'm driving is a 2-litre turbo petrol producing 155 kilowatts and 350 newton meters of torque. That doesn't make sense to you, but if I put my foot down on sport mode, ah, you can feel the power. And the gear shifting very fast, courtesy of a 7-speed automatic gearbox that allows you to uh, explore the full potential of this particular car. Driving it, as you drive fast, 
the Carfields planted courtesy of double wishbone suspension system and at the back you do have a multi-link rear suspension system that allows you to control the car and make the car feel planted even on sharp bends and curves like now as I'm driving. I'm telling you this car, if you love experience, if you love power and performance, then this particular Q5 Audi makes more sense. In terms of safety, it's loaded with active and passive ones. For example, in the active segment, you do have electronic stability program and ABS that allows you to prevent you from getting into an accident. But in case all hell breaks loose, then you can rely on the six airbags and of course crumple zones that protect you and your family from harm's way. That said, would you pick this Audi Q5 or the rival which is the BMW X3? I'll leave that to you. So guys, we've driven the Audi Q5 extensively and I can tell you, it has good value for money proposition. But first things first, how much does it cost? Roughly in the market, the Audi Q5 will cost you anywhere from 2.5 to 3 million Kenya shillings. In terms of service, minor service will take at least 15,000 Kenya shillings off your pocket. And if you want to do major service, anywhere between 40 to 50,000, where you replace your brake pads, your air filters, plugs, and etc. That said, would you buy the Audi Q5? Send us your thoughts and questions on our social media handles below, and I'll tell you where to get this particular Audi Q5. Importance of having a roadside assistance cover. Road emergencies can be a dangerous and stressful experience. Imagine driving down Bagathi at 8 p.m. and suddenly you experience a tire burst. You quickly pull over the side of the road and you notice the highway is poorly lit. Immediately, your survival instincts kick in and you're aware that the area is not safe. What do you do? The wise always rely on expert roadside assistance cover that goes a long way to ensure that both you and your vehicle make it to your destination. What are the benefits of having roadside assistance? Majority of companies in this business do offer a wide array of packages tailored for the private motorist to the corporate customers. They range from 24-hour rescue assistance, flatbed services and subsidized insurance packages. If you think local tow trucks are cheap, think again. Their rates, even for a short tow, can easily set you back up to 5,000 Kenya shillings. What to look out for when purchasing a roadside assistance policy? In an effort to attract more subscribers, many roadside assistance providers will offer their own unique set of bonuses and benefits. They include trip planning assistance, retail discounts and preferred rates on outside services. Overall, roadside assistance and breakdown services are just like insurance policies. They are bought with the hope that they'll never be used. Whether you're concerned of being stranded on a deserted road or you're just not confident enough in changing a tire, roadside assistance provides valuable peace of mind to many motorists who just can't do without it. Today, we are driving something exciting. For the first time in Kenya, we are test driving the brand new Suzuki, Suzuki Vitara. Vitara. Now, as you all know, the Vitara is one of the most loved crossovers, small SUVs in the country. Remember, it's been 30 years since the first one came out in 1988. Actually, now it's 31. 31 years so far. And that, that tells you something, you know? That tells you that uh, Suzuki have always had the secret of making a good soft roader. So we're just going to test and see if indeed it has that capacity and capability to take small families into the 21st century. Yeah. That said, uh, we're just exiting the new Suzuki uh, showroom in industrial area and they actually do have a wide range of Suzuki's including the Maruti, the Vitara, the Jimny which is my favorite and of and course the, the Sears, Sears which and looks the Sears, which just looks fantastic. Pretty, I have pretty to say. amazing. So, so they're coming, they're pulling a full court press, they're not, they're not playing with this. Yes. They have the entire range including actually all the way down to the Alto. Yes. Which is not the one that people are using for Uber. Yes. But uh, you, it's also indi uh, in independently available to buy. Now, let's yeah. talk about this particular Vitara. No problem. Introduction. This one is now coming with a new design, you know, just to make sure that it uh, fits in the 21st century design. Yeah. Remember the likes of, you know, the Qashqai and, and, and 
uh, Kaja and many others that there's are a, in There's the a market. lot of competition in this market. Uh, I believe I'd even asked you a, a bit earlier about the future of the saloon car. Yes. Because everybody is moving towards now soft roaders, yes. towards now compact SUVs. Yes. And this has, like you said, has a very long history in the market. Yes. Um, in the Kenyan market also, specifically, it's been the first off-roader that most people are getting. When you think about off-road vehicles, you tend to think of your Land Cruisers, uh, your Range Rovers and the like, but you tend to forget that when you're driving off-road, lightness is just as important as it is on a racetrack. So having a light vehicle that, uh, that's four-wheel drive capable is incredible. Yes. Although, I, in my opinion, I'd, I'd much rather call this car a sports activity vehicle yes. as opposed to a sports utility, utility vehicle. vehicle. From the outside in, there's been a complete total refresh of this vehicle. Yes. So from a design perspective, they were able to sit down and start at the drawing board. This is not an incremental change that they've done. This is a complete total evolution. It's an overhaul. A complete overhaul. And I must say they've done a really good job. Most soft roaders are set up for off-road, so they are very stiff suspension, yes. and that punishes you on your daily, day-to-day -day uh, trip. Absolutely. Actually, speaking of that suspension, like you said, yeah, it's built for the urban jungle, and you know, urban jungle roads are not the smoothest, like yes. you said. So, front back fasten struts, rear multi-link suspension uh, helps absorb this imperfections on the road easily and you can live with it uh, every day remember like you said it's an urban jungle so it's a car that is built for you it's like a mini home when you yes. leave your home this is a mini home so guys the suzuki vitara actually comes in two derivatives you can either get it as a 4x4 or a 4x2 but they're all powered by this particular engine a 1.6 mpfi multi-point fuel injection producing 88 kilowatts and 156 newton meters of torque now all that power is applied to the wheels courtesy of a 6-speed automatic or 6-speed manual which allows it to export the full potential of this particular engine while retaining a claimed economy figure of 6.7 liters per 100 kilometers. So guys, we've extensively tested this particular Vitara and I can tell you it indeed has value for money. Now with prices starting at 3 million shillings for this 4x2 version, you can enjoy the sampling of the new Vitara. Or if you want more, then you can get the 4x4 version at 3.6 million Kenya shillings. And you need to know that you can get this particular car at Suzuki by Toyota. Uru Highway, go in, they'll help you. They have plenty of products from the Jimny to the Sears and many, many more. Please visit that particular showroom. But, Murigi, who are the rivals of this car? I'd say the competitors for this particular vehicle would include the Renault Kaja, would be the Nissan Qashqai and the Mitsubishi ASX. And I think the, 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 the car to beat in this segment is the Renault Kaja. You can have it with a diesel engine, which is not available here. You're also able to get it with uh, navigation and self-parking, not just parking assist, yes. and a full pound ramic sunroof. So the question now becomes, uh, when it comes to value for money, what are the different offerings? Uh, what's the price? And then, of course, you have to think about now Toyota's large network of distribution and sales yes. and what they're bringing to offer now in the market with Suzuki. Absolutely. Three years, 100,000 kilometer warranty, whichever comes first. And as you said, you're assured of Toyota's uh, reliability across the country, all the networks. You are safe when you're buying this particular Suzuki. Guys, it's been an interesting uh, review with this particular new Suzuki. Please don't forget to go to Suzuki and get yourself a feel of this particular car. They'll give you a test drive. Same to Big Boy Trevor Mesema. Report here review. Now at Akpatia test drive and you feel it and then you'll enjoy. Signing out live and direct somewhere in Africa. This is Big Boy Trev. This is Bobby. And we are happy to see you guys. Make sure you follow us on our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook handles seen below and send us all your comments. Remember, it is your show and it is we value your feedback. Until next week, be safe. Drive safe.